Hey everyone, Rascal here, and today, next up, I'll be talking about uh, the Peanuts Valentine's Day special, Be My Valentine, Charlie Brown. Now, this one's a little harder to cover because I've covered almost all of the Peanuts specials for different holidays, but... The, the Valentine's one was a little difficult because one, it's a little harder to find, and two, there's been more than one special dedicated to February or Valentine's Day. One was about uh, Charlie Brown, the little red haired girl, and called You're in Love, Charlie Brown. One was about Snoopy getting married. Yes, that was actually an episode. I cannot believe it either. Um, we have this one. There was lots of books that had tons of Valentine's comics. It was a little difficult to, to really pick this one out because I really didn't want to mix it up with others. And basically this episode was another one of those TV specials they would have on ABC like Thanksgiving and Halloween and Christmas. And this was about Charlie Brown wanting to receive a Valentine's, a letter, or chocolate, or anything from the little red haired girl. And pretty much the whole joke behind it is that Snoopy would usually get more Valentine's than Charlie Brown. Yes, the the dog got more love letters than his own owner. I'm, I'm not kidding you. And for the most part, it was still funny. I think this was more of their stranger special, the slightly leaker ones. Not that there's anything wrong with the Peanuts special. I mean, really, there's rarely a Charlie Brown or Peanuts special or incarnation of something I don't like like the like that 2015 Peanuts one not the movie the Cartoon Network show which ended up being actually pretty boring for some reason but with this um I don't think it was one of their best but it was still pretty funny and it still showed Charlie Brown's journey to win the affections of the little red haired girl which is part of why I like the Peanuts movie where they actually have him finally tell her how he fell and he actually does end up with her and she knows that he's a great guy and that's what I really liked about the movie but for here the special pretty much sticks to the comics in terms of how the story goes and usually that ends up with Charlie Brown losing and I get the whole point was you gotta keep going gotta keep cheering on Charlie Brown but there are times you did feel sorry for him or characters similar to him where they just didn't get the Valentine's, they didn't get chocolate, they didn't get anything from people, the ones they like, or their friends or anything. And it's just, it, it does kind of suck. So I could understand that really hurting somebody's, you know, dignity or self-esteem. So this is probably kind of relatable to people nowadays because of, well, how romance is kind of seen now with a lot of people around the world. It's completely different from the time that this special came out. However, I still think it's really fun to watch. And there's a lot of really great uh, moments in here with all the characters. Like, the best running gag in here is that Snoopy uh, goes to the mailbox. And Charlie Brown keeps looking for letters for himself. But Snoopy goes in and he gets a bunch of letters almost every day till Valentine's Day. And Charlie Brown thinks he's got something, and in every single letter he picks out is all for Snoopy. And you kind of wonder, are these from human girls or they from dog girls? And that's been in my mind for quite a while. <laughs> and, of course, you have moments like Sally and her sweet baboon Linus, who we refuse to interact with. You have uh, Lucy and Schroeder. And just fun little moments between all the characters. And I think that's part of, I think that's probably the one strength of this special that is really more focused on the character relationships, whether it be platonic, romantic, someone wanting to get romantic, someone wanting to stay platonic. It kind of really hinges on that and the excuses like they have why they should be getting something or shouldn't do something. And, and it's like, you can't believe it's coming out of kids' mouths. So, yeah, this is going to be a little shorter than the other Peanut Specials because, like I said, it is not a whole lot to delve into for this one. This isn't really the annual thing that people go to like they've done for The Great Pumpkin, The Christmas, and Thanksgiving like they've done every year. Like, the, the Valentine's one, you can kind of take it or leave it. Not that it's bad, but it didn't have that same magic that the other three specials had in the later parts of the year. Just like the Easter one and the New Year's one kind of didn't have that special knack to it. 
like the latter ones that you see at the end of the year. So it's not a bad special. I definitely recommend watching it. Unfortunately, you can no longer watch it live around February or uh, Valentine's Day. You have to go to either your Apple streaming service or go to a cartoon website that has it. Or just buy the DVD straight on along with, I recommend getting a collection where it has all the holiday specials for Valentine, New Year's, Easter, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and Halloween. I just recommend getting that one so you have all of them in one go and you can just get out the disc and watch it whenever you're ready. So, uh, you guys tell me what you thought of uh, Charlie Brown. I was say Charlie Brown Valentine's because uh, he didn't get one. That's probably why they called it Be My Valentine, Charlie Brown. <laughs> Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. Did you actually really enjoy it and you consider it underrated? Um, did you think it was just okay? Or did you really just not like it at all and would rather see a different peanut special? Let me know in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. And... Thanks for liking, subscribing, sharing, and commenting on all my videos. I really appreciate you all. I hope you have a toontastic day. Later.